this problem has a lot of information. The first thing we need to think about is, uh, or the easiest thing to think about is, what are the objective functions? So in A, the maximum revenue is desired. So the revenue um, are, the revenues are listed 399 for each uh, berry bomb, 499 for each uh, delicious detox, and 299 for each marvelous mango. So B, D, and M are the number of each of those respectively. For part B, we just want to maximize the number of meals, uh, regardless of the cost. So we have B plus D plus M. Now, what are our constraints? Well, the constraints are obviously on the ingredients because the ingredients will um, make up the meals. We don't actually have any constraints on the meals themselves. So for strawberry, so I like to break it up in terms of all the ingredients that I have. Um, strawberries, they get five bags. Um, each bag can do eight cups, so that means there are 40 cups of strawberries total. Six bags of blue er blueberries at eight cups per bag is 48 cups of blueberries available. This is each day. Uh, raspberries, two bags at eight cups per day is 16 cups available total. Granola, um, 10 boxes, 20 cups per box. That can generate 200 cups. Mango, there are 20 mangoes at two cups per mango, so they can do 40 cups total. Uh, green tea, there are just 60 cups of green tea available per day. Now we got to think about what uses the strawberries. Well, the, the, the blueberry, or the berry bomb uses a quarter cup per, um, a per uh, berry bomb. So a quarter of a cup times the number of serving, of number of meals will be, must be less than or equal to 40. Um, similarly, the, we'll do one, we'll do a couple more here. The, the blueberries are used by the berry bomb and the delicious detox. A quarter cup per berry bomb plus three quarter cups per delicious detox must uh, be less than or equal to the 48 cups available. Uh, and as we kind of go down the list, um, down here for granola, they all use one cup of granola, but that must be, they must sum to less than or equal to 200 cups which are available. So here are the constraints. It might help to kind of pause and see if uh, the rest of them make sense, and you can work through those. Once we get these all set up, the the matrix is quite long, so we'll kind of run through that really quickly here. And what we'll see is that we have B, D, M, and since we have one, two, three, four, five, six constraints for each of the six ingredients, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, slack variables, and you can kind of see how they go down in this um, identity matrix type format. And then, of course, our last constraint, which you can probably make sense of, negative 3.99, negative 4.99, negative 2.99, um, one in the, the objective function column placeholder equals zero. And when we solve this thing, we come all the way down. We see that, okay, good, uh, we're going to produce each one of these since they're all active variable columns. So produce 64 berry bombs, which we see here. Produce 42.7, oops, so there's the delicious detox, 42.7 of those. So it might, it might have to round that down to 42 um, delicious detoxes. Then do 40. So here's the marvelous mango, and there's the row to look in. So make 40 of those, and that will project a total revenue of $588. Now if we do the same exact same thing, but instead of having our uh, constraint on profit or revenue, but we use this guy here, subtracting 1B, subtracting 1D, subtracting 1M, we actually get a slightly different result we find that um, B is 64, there's your 64, D is 42.7, and M is 40, which generates a total of 147 meals. So if we look at both of those, we see that um, they are actually, we thought what we thought were would produce different amounts, are actually exactly the same. Uh, so give at least two reasons why we observe the different number of breakfasts in each of the two scenarios. Well, we don't. We actually observe the same number, but we do observe a different value of the objective function. Since this is meals, and over here, this is actually the, excuse me, this is the number of meals, and this right here is the to total amount of revenue that can be gained. So a uh, pretty interesting fact how that turns